Good morning everyone. Trepid Pockers all been here. Had a break in the weather, so I thought I'd pop out early and get you some uh, footage of where we're staying sort of this weekend. We've been here for uh, four nights. Uh, we're at uh, Southview Farm camping and caravan in sight. Um, I don't know whether you can see those views, but they're fantastic views. Uh, what I'm actually looking at is I'm looking at um, top of Carlton Bank, uh, Lord Stones. Uh, which it's just uh, south of Stokesley, about three and a half miles south of Stokesley. Uh, it's in two parts. We've got Southview Holiday Village. I'll just go over to the sign for you. <coughs> uh, Southview Holi Holiday Village, camp camping caravans and glamping pods. Uh, used to be camping and caravanning club, uh, but they've expanded the site, the camping side of it, to more than five pitches now. Uh, so they've come out of the uh, camping and caravanning club. Brian, who runs it, is an, is a lovely guy, uh, and his son John um, comes and meets you and just lets you know what's in the sort of local area. So that that side is going to be the holiday part. Uh, the glamping pods uh, and this is the address of the place uh, and this is the camping site Southview Farm uh, camping and caravanning club site uh, sorry so I'll say that again because it's not in the caravan club now so you'll looks uh, Southview Farm camping and caravanning site Great Busby TS9 7AX um, it's not far from Teesside as you can see probably from the postcode uh, probably about half an hour's drive from Middlesbrough, Redcar, Saltburn, right on the edges of the North Yorkshire Moors. Just a couple of miles off the Cleveland Way as well. You can put, you can, um, put your tent up here, so if you get down from Lordstones, just a couple of miles, um, you've got a lovely campsite for the night. Southview Retreat, Great Pusbury, Yorkshire. Let's have a little walk in the site and see what's, uh, uh, what they've got to offer. It's a very quiet site. And it's uh, small. It's got a mix of hard standing and gravel pitches and grass. We're actually on a grass pitch. Walking through. Yeah, don't know whether, as I said, I don't know whether you can see those views there, but are they, are they fantastic or not? That's the Cleveland Hills there. Uh, the Cleveland Hills. So if you're doing the Cleveland Way or any walking around the area, uh, you might have seen my other short video uh, when it was really windy the other day. Uh, Sunday I went on a bike ride up Carlton Bank. Um, if you go a mountain bike, there's lots of mountain bike trails there. Uh, look like there's some right professionals there with all their gear. Uh, it's got a security gate. Uh, you get the cord to come in and out. You can come in. There's, there's, they haven't got many rules on here. Some people might like that. Uh, you can have barbecues. Um, they give you the code to actually get in and out. Just have a little walk down the site. Got your chemical disposal over that side yeah it's just getting on for eight o'clock in the morning tuesday 40, 40 no 15th of august it has been uh, torrential rain the last few days as you've probably sort of seen on the news uh, a bit of a what do they call them depressions low depressions i don't know something like that the weather experts out there tell me what they are uh, sort of coming this way. So a nice break in the weather today. Yeah, I'll have a little walk over to where the pods are. Just show you them before I get onto my bit. Just show you an example of one. Uh, they've all got hot tubs as well. So if, you, so if you're not sort of camping or caravanning or motorhoming, excellent. Very popular as well. They're all booked up. So 
done, a, done an excellent job. I won't go in too far I'm invading people's privacy. I see there's a sign there saying residents only. Yeah, just a quick look at the, the pods there, yeah. Seems to be one of the in things these days. Yeah, I've got a, a small sort of toilet block here. The unisex toilets and showers, they do tell you this in the information. I've got this off pitch up. Again, as mentioned in previous video, we use that a lot. Um, but the, the showers are really hot and Someone's coming. Kind of, yeah. Coming down to where we are. Up we are. Yeah, someone was coming out of the toilets there, so I thought that would be just turn the camera around. Yeah, so you've got a couple of, uh, you've got a few cubicles on there, toilets and the shower, a sink, and the dishwashing area next door to it. Uh, so we're down this end. Um, got myself a drone, DJI a Mini Pro 3. Um, got it out and um, had a little play with it the other day. I was really nervous flying it though. I think, is that normal when you first get a drone? I thought it was going to fly off. Um, so I've got to learn all the settings and things. So in the future I might have a few little clips um, with the drone footage on it. Um, got a dog walking area here. So just walk down there, you go around the field. Right on our doorstep, this side campsite as well. You could be a million miles away. So, the, so what Brian's done is actually set part of his field aside for the dog walking area. Uh, so you could just go around the edges of the field. Um, got Rosemary, so I'm looking towards Lord Stones there. And then you've got um, Teesside, Middlesbrough, Gisborough, um, Great Ayton to my left. Um, three or four miles. Rosby Topping if you if you know Rosby Topping. Yeah and so we were uh, this is our final trial run um, getting everything ready for when we go to France in a couple of weeks time. Well actually it's uh, what the 15th today so we're actually going on the 26th so 11 days. Uh, 16 amp electricity here. Oh is it? No sorry I apologize for that. No it's, it's uh, 10 amp electricity yeah so we thought we'd uh, have another go we've made some modifications to the privacy room which we got if you've seen the Wombleton uh, video you'll have seen that we sort of acquired that when someone was actually chucking it out and they didn't want anything for it <clears throat> uh, I've, I've put it on a bit of a slope because it's been torrential rain uh, could be a little bit higher uh, not quite um, long enough for our uh, Fiamma caravan store um, so we've got a um, lily pad so what we're doing is we're just using the lily pad there as the, as the doorway and this is going to be excellent for us going down uh, to uh, France uh, going down to near Saint-Tropez, Port Grimaud if you've heard of it I put a load of videos on Port Grimaud sort of last year on a little playlist so if you haven't uh, had a look at those videos, then have, have a gander. Um, anyway, it was a very quick sort of look around, south view, ca camping and caravan site. Uh, quick because it's not really that big. Um, it doesn't take long to walk around, but you've got absolutely fantastic uh, facilities and uh, loads to do in the area. Uh, if you're into mountain biking or walking, Cleveland Hills, how close can you get to them? And if you're doing the Cleveland way, then why not? Uh, there's a campsite up at Lordstones, but if you, if you can't get in there, uh, then get yourself down here, two miles. 
uh, down into come down from down through Carlton um, uh, and then you're um, more or less right on top of the, the site so I wish you a good morning hope you have a, a brilliant day hope this weather actually stays like this today um, I can, and I can get that privacy room down and get it dried off because uh, we uh, get it down today because we're uh, going home again tomorrow okay so I'll say bye for now uh, I'll time to put the kettle on and um, as I say I hope you have a, a brilliant day bye from Pockers All Bean